Cinematography makes magic easy, like this disappearing trick. But researchers at Flinders University are making things disappear, not by magic, but with science. <coughs> Professor Nico Volker and researcher Andy Plummer are investigating the peculiar properties of porous silicon and its potential use in security. What you've just seen is a piece of silicon, uh, the same silicon as in uh, silicon chips, explode uh, when reacted with an oxidising agent. Porous silicon is a material that we create by etching silicon using hydrofluoric acid. These pores are very, very narrow, only five nanometers in diameter, which is about one ten thousandth the size of a human hair. But they're very, very deep. We create a very, very high surface area. Mixing an oxidising agent in with that makes it very reactive. Using a spark or a laser or heat, we can cause that reaction to initiate at any time we choose. The end goal of this research is to characterise and develop porous silicon as, an explo as a useful explosive material. So what fascinates me about this porous silicon is that you can use the same um, technology that you are using to produce mobile phones and, and computer chips. So you can basically place an explosive patch onto a hard drive, onto a computer chip, onto a, some component of your mobile phone. If somebody steals it, you can set it off and it would be unusable. And that makes the whole point of stealing mobile phones useless. But porous silicon offers other benefits as well. In essence, this material has a surface area of a decent block of land, but in a volume of a jelly bean. The implications of that are, for example, that you can load a lot of therapeutic drugs into this material that can then be released to treat a disease. Silicon is a biocompatible material, it's non-toxic. You can see this color of the material here, which is structural color, and it changes as molecules bind to the pore silicon. And in essence, what you have is a sensor that can detect the presence of a disease, like an, an antibody or a cancer marker. There are also applications in terms of growing tissues and cells on this material because it is so biocompatible. As an example, you can see here cells growing onto a membrane made out of porous silicon. And these cells are cells that you would normally find in the front of the eye. These cells are absent in a disease that is quite devastating because it leads to blindness called ocular surface disease. This is at the cutting edge of uh, nanotechnology. It incorporates uh, fields of physics, and chemistry, and material science, putting together all of these different uh, aspects to research a material which has not really been studied well before.